Welcome to the show. All of us here at Sydney Weekend are all for getting out of the house on the weekend and enjoying this fantastic state of ours. But sometimes when you go away for the weekend, you've got a few DIY things to do at home, you intend to feel a little bit guilty. Well, I've found a place that's not only a heap of fun, but it dovetails perfectly in with all your DIY projects. Dovetailing, I know it's just going to be me all day. Dovetailing. Don't go away. Oh, that's easy. Here's what's coming up on the rest of the show. More tape. This story is for all of you folks out there that after you left school realised how much you loved woodworking and at the time we didn't realise that we had benches and vices and all of the tools right there at our fingertips. Now, if you've got the big super-duper shed down the back with everything that opens and closes, well, lucky you. But if you haven't, well, this one's for you. You see, it turns out that you do have a back shed. A whole factory with a heap of power tools and a clubhouse full of friendly mates all waiting for you at Richard Crossland School of Fine Woodwork here in Alexandria. Now, I'm not saying this is just for the boys because there's a lot of women that will enjoy this too, but girls, you've got all those other things you do. You've got the shopping, the afternoon tea, the girl talk, this is purpose made for boy time. This is secret men's business. I'd even bring my son along to that. And my daughters as well. OK, I admit I'd recommend this to anyone who wants to make things from scratch, have a yarn, and most of all, learn from the best, the man himself. Let me ask you this. What do you really love about, about working with wood? It's a beautiful material. Every piece of wood is different. It produces a, a, a life of its own, and people love working with it, and I love teaching them how to work with it. And the pieces that we produce here are just absolutely fabulous. Everything that comes out of here is a masterpiece. And speaking of masterpieces, you can see that Richard really knows his stuff. How long did it take you to make this? Uh, Probably about 18 months, over a period of 18 months. It was made for an exhibition in 1985, would you believe? It's 25 years old. Mate, it's just awesome. But look, if you think this is unbelievable, just have a look at this that Richard's just sort of unfolded and showed me, which I presume is the London Eye. Spot on. Oh, were all these all individual? Yeah, just turn, yeah. So they all... They, they oh, move. Oh. There you go. And just try the little handle over there. You're not just telling wind, me that at all. Go, just watch, wind it gently. Wind it gently. There you go. <laughs> There you go. How long did it take you to build this one? Uh, about 18 months, I guess, over, over a period of 18 months. So if months. you're really good at woodworking and well, you want to build something really tricky like this, it's pretty much a standard 18 months. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, 18 months, three years and 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, there's a lot of stuff. You, have you, you haven't made all of them. Oh, Lord, no, no, but I've been here with Richard for 24 years. And, uh, Serious? Yes. What, have you got shares in the joint or something? Well, practically. <laughs> no, Richard's a, a very competent instructor because he's got a very good ear. And if you're using a machine that's making the wrong noise, you say, hang on a minute, Stuart, I'll show you an easier way. Instead of saying, you idiot, what are you doing it that way for? I wanted to ask you something. How do you think um, the ladies go? Well, of the work I've seen them do, I sometimes think they're better than the men to be the actual finish, so... Uh, that nice ladies touch. Yes, Not like good. the men, hey? We... Well, there you go. No splinter groups here. Just mates working hard towards big results. And looking at more of the work being done here really hammers it home. Mate, I actually wanted to ask you about this. This is just amazing. It's a business card holder. I mean, just... 
So beautiful to feel. How long did it take you to make this? Well, I really can't remember, and when I make things, I don't put a timeline on it. It'll be ready when it's going to be ready. If, if you rush it, you'll make a mistake. And I learned that very early in the piece when I started doing these woodwork classes. Well, mate, I've got to say, this looks to me like exceptionally fine woodwork, and if you can do that, why would you keep coming to the school? Well, I can't do it without Richard's help. He makes me look very good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. Whatever he's taught you, it's damn good because these are fantastic. So, try something new. Look good doing it. Make anything you like and get all the help you need to make it a reality. A lot of thought goes into things here too, which is why this class is just magic. Now, the inspiration. Well, um, my wife bought me these classes, so I figured... The least thing I could do was to make something that she could use, you know, so... Uh, well, how fantastic is this going to be when you're sitting your backsides in that and enjoying the, the late afternoon sun? So long as she gets the drinks, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else do you want me to do? That's Don't fine. touch anything. <laughs> the Handyman Can at Richard Crossland School of Fine Woodwork. It's in Alexandria and you'll get six lessons for $406. Chip in and call 9313 4142.